Thomas Mann, a prominent figure in the world of silent films, was born on April 1, 1879 in Yorkshire, England. From his early days, Mayne had a passion for the stage and began his career as a theater actor before transitioning to film. Mayne quickly gained recognition for his talent and charisma, becoming one of the most popular leading men of his time. His roles in classics such as The Miracle Man and The Magician showcased his versatility and range as an actor. The actor was known for his ability to portray complex emotions with subtlety and nuance, making him a favorite among audiences and critics alike. Maine's contributions to the film industry were not limited to his acting prowess. He was also a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild and played a crucial role in advocating for actors' rights. In The Miracle Man, Mayne played a con man who poses as a faith healer, showcasing his talent for playing both villainous and heroic characters. The film was a critical and commercial success, solidifying Megan's status as a leading man. The Magician, released in 1926, was another classic in which Megan starred. The film, based on a novel by W. Somerset Maugham, tells the story of a master magician who falls in love with a young woman. Megan's performance in the film was praised for his ability to bring depth and complexity to the character. Megan's legacy extends beyond his film roles, as he was a trailblazer in advocating for actors' rights. His work with the Screen Actors Guild helped to establish better working conditions and pay for actors in the industry. In conclusion, Thomas Mayne was a talented actor, an advocate who left a lasting impact on the film industry. His contributions continue to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences and industry professionals alike. Thomas Mayne was a prominent actor known for his work in the early days of cinema. He starred in numerous films that captivated audiences with their charm and wit. Which work of the actor do you hold closest to your heart? Is there a particular moment from one of his works that has had a lasting impact on you? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we have many funny, shocking, and sad facts about this classic star coming up. Keep watching this video for more intriguing details. Thomas Mayen, born in 1879 in Pennsylvania, was the youngest of six children. His father, a blacksmith, and his mother, a homemaker, instilled in him a strong work ethic from an early age. The actor's first exposure to performing arts came from his mother, who loved to sing, and encouraged him to join her. Mayne's family moved to Pittsburgh when he was still a child. There, he attended Central High School and discovered his passion for acting. He participated in various school plays and quickly became a favorite among his peers and teachers. After graduating from high school, Mayen worked at a steel mill to support his family. However, he couldn't shake off his love for acting. He began performing in local theater productions, and his talent did not go unnoticed. A local theater manager offered him a job as an actor, and Mayen accepted it without hesitation. Mayen's big break came when he was discovered by a talent scout from SNA Studios. The film studio was known for its silent films, and Mayen quickly became one of its most popular leading men. He starred in numerous films, including The House of Mirth and The Broadway Girl. The actor's mentor and friend, renowned director D.W. Griffith, played a significant role in shaping his career. Griffith taught Mayen the nuances of acting and directed him in several successful films. Mayen's co-stars, including Gloria Swanson and Lon Chaney, also influenced his acting style and career. Mayen's humble beginnings, hard work, and passion for acting paved the way for his successful career in Hollywood. His talent and dedication to his craft continue to inspire future generations of actors. Thomas Mayen was a prominent actor of his time. His contributions to the film industry are worth celebrating. This classic actor left a significant mark on the film landscape. Thomas Mayen's passion for acting took root during his childhood in Pittsburgh. As a young boy, he was captivated by the magic of the theater, often sneaking into local productions to watch in awe. His mother, noticing his fascination, enrolled him in a drama class, where he truly discovered his love for the craft. A pivotal experience came when Megan, then a teenager, attended a performance of Shakespeare's Hamlet. The actor playing the lead role, with his powerful delivery and commanding presence, left a profound impression on the young man. He knew then that he wanted to move audiences in the same way. Megan's journey to stardom wasn't without challenges. He faced numerous rejections and struggled to make ends meet. However, his unwavering dedication and passion fueled his pursuit of a career in acting. After years of hard work, Mayen finally got his break, landing a role in a small theater production. His natural talent and charisma soon caught the attention of influential people in the industry, 
leading to more significant opportunities. In one classic film, Mangan played a character who, despite his humble beginnings, rises to prominence through perseverance and hard work. The actor's own story mirrored that of his character, making his performance all the more compelling. Mangan's ability to bring depth and authenticity to his roles, combined with his undeniable charm and good looks, made him a beloved figure in early Hollywood. Throughout his career, Thomas Mangan remained dedicated to his craft, always striving to deliver memorable performances that touched the hearts of his audiences. His passion for acting, ignited in his childhood, and fueled by pivotal experiences, left an indelible mark on the world of classic cinema. After his passing, the actor Thomas Mayen was given a posthumous star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960, located at 1719 Vine Street in Hollywood, California. Megan was known for his preference to spend his free time with individuals outside of the acting circle. He often played golf with Ring Lardner and Booth Tarkington and was friendly with Irish tenor John McCormack, Gene Tunney, and President Calvin Coolidge. Megan had a close relationship with his family, being the brother-in-law of both Blanche Ring and Cyril Ring. Despite his impressive acting career, Megan chose to surround himself with a diverse group of people building strong connections that went beyond his professional life. The actor's star on the Walk of Fame serves as a testament to his successful career, while his personal relationships highlight his down-to-earth personality. Thomas Mayen, a rising actor in the early 1900s, faced many obstacles on his path to success. Born in 1879 in Pennsylvania, Megan's family struggled financially, making it challenging for him to pursue his dreams. Despite these hardships, he was determined to become an actor and moved to New York City at the age of 19. In the bustling city, Mayen faced skepticism from industry professionals who doubted his talent and abilities. However, he refused to let rejection discourage him, and instead used it as motivation to improve his craft. Mayen spent countless hours studying and perfecting his acting skills, attending plays and rehearsals, and observing other actors. Mayen's resilience paid off when he landed his first significant role in a Broadway production. Although the pay was minimal, it provided him with valuable experience and exposure. He continued to work hard, taking on various roles in both theater and film. One of Mayen's most notable challenges was overcoming the stereotype that he was only suitable for certain types of role. However, he refused to be limited and actively sought out diverse and challenging characters. Mayen's versatility and talent soon earned him recognition and respect from both audiences and industry professionals. Mayan's success in the industry was not without its struggles, but he remained committed to his passion and persevered through adversity. He became a beloved and respected actor, known for his captivating performances and ability to bring characters to life. Today, Thomas Mayan's legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and remind us all of the power of resilience and determination. Thomas Mayan, a well-known actor of his time, had connections in the industry that extended to his family. He was, in fact, the uncle of both radio actor James Megan and director Edward Sutherland. James Megan became famous for his portrayal of the Falcon in radio from 1945 to 1947, while Edward Sutherland had a successful career in directing films. One interesting fact about Thomas Megan is that he was the only attendee and witness at the secret marriage of Olive Thomas and Jack Pickford on October 25, 1916. This highlights the close relationships that often formed in the early days of Hollywood, where actors and filmmakers would socialize and even attend each other's private events. Despite the passage of time, the legacy of Thomas Mayen and his contributions to the world of film continue to be recognized and appreciated by classic movie enthusiasts. His work on the silver screen left a lasting impact, and his family's own achievements in the entertainment industry serve as a testament to his influence and mentorship. Thomas Mayen's breakthrough moments began with his early stage work, where he honed his craft and gained recognition in the theater community. However, it was his transition to film that truly catapulted his career. In 1915, Mayen starred in The Battle Cry of Peace, a groundbreaking anti-war film that earned critical acclaim and solidified his status as a leading man. One of Mayen's most iconic roles came in 1920 with The Deep Purple, a romantic drama that showcased his emotional depth and range as an actor. The film was a critical and commercial success, with many praising Megan's nuanced performance. Notably, his co-star, actress Miriam Cooper, remarked, Tom was a true professional, always prepared, and dedicated to his craft. Megan's career continued to flourish throughout the 1920s, 
with standout performances in films such as The Hometown Story and The Power of the Press. His work in these films further solidified his reputation as a versatile and captivating actor, able to handle both dramatic and comedic roles with ease. However, it was Mayan's role in the 1929 classic, The Man in the Iron Mask, that truly cements his place in film history. Directed by the legendary Alan Duan, the film was a lavish and ambitious production, featuring stunning sets, elaborate costumes, and a star-studded cast. Mayan's performance as the titular character was widely praised, with critics noting his ability to convey emotion through subtle facial expressions and body language. Peer and critic reactions to Mayan's work in The Man in the Iron Mask were overwhelmingly positive. Film historian Kevin Brownlow noted, Mayan's performance in this film is a true testament to his skill as an actor. He brings depth and humanity to a character that could have easily been one-dimensional. Even Mayan's contemporaries, such as actor John Barrymore, were quick to praise his work. Barrymore stated, Megan is a true artist, a master of his craft. He has a rare ability to make even the most complex characters relatable and sympathetic. In conclusion, Thomas Mayan's career was marked by a series of breakthrough moments that showcased his versatility, emotional depth, and skill as an actor. From his early stage work to his iconic film roles, Mayan left a lasting impact on the world of classic cinema. Thomas Mayan, a popular actor during the silent film era, faced significant struggles in his life, including the pressure to stay young in Hollywood. Born in 1879, Mayne started his acting career on stage before transitioning to film. As a leading man in silent films, Mayne's career depended on his youthful appearance, which created pressure for him to maintain a youthful image. This pressure was common in Hollywood during that time, as the film industry valued youth and beauty. Mayne's personal life also had its share of struggles. He married once to actress Frederica Fred Hutton, but their marriage ended in divorce in 1922. Mayan then married Genevieve Blinn, a widow and former actress, but she passed away in 1938. Despite these challenges, Mayan continued to act in films throughout the 1920s and into the early 1930s. However, the transition to talkies proved difficult for him, as it did for many silent film actors. Mayan made only a few sound films before retiring from acting, in addition to the pressure to stay young and his personal struggles, Mayan faced the challenge of adapting to the new technology of sound and film. Despite these challenges, Mayan's contributions to the film industry during the silent film era remain significant. Mayan's films continue to be classics, and his talent as an actor is still admired today. His legacy as a leading man in silent films lives on, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers. Thomas Mayan, known for his remarkable performances in classic films, had a unique approach to his work. Transitioning seamlessly into his characters, he immersed himself in their experiences, bringing them to life on the screen. Mayan's personal experiences and worldview greatly influenced his acting style. His early life struggles and determination to overcome obstacles shaped his understanding of human emotions and complexities. This understanding translated into his performances, allowing him to portray characters with depth and authenticity. Mayan's attention to detail and dedication to his craft set him apart. He meticulously studied his roles, delving into the nuances and motivations of each character. This commitment to understanding the essence of his roles enabled him to create compelling and relatable performances. Throughout his career, Mayan's versatility shone through as he effortlessly transitioned between dramatic and comedic roles. His ability to seamlessly adapt to different genres showcased his range as an actor. In summary, Thomas Mayan's artistic vision and process were fueled by his personal experiences and worldview. His dedication to his craft, attention to detail, and versatility allowed him to create memorable performances that continue to captivate audiences to this day. In the mid-1920s, Paramount Pictures made the decision to close its New York Asteria studio and relocate its big three stars, Richard Dix, B.B. Daniels, and Thomas Mayan, to Hollywood. However, Mayan declined the move and held enough star power to avoid being let go. As a result, the studio kept the Asteria facility open under the pretense of it being available for him. Mayan was also acquainted with the renowned writer Ring Lardner, who later mentioned him in his short story haircut. In the 1919 film Male and Female, Megan shared a scene with a leopard from the Selig Zoo around his neck. The animal was initially intended for destruction due to its violent behavior towards someone, 
Director Cecil B. DeMille purchased the leopard and kept it sedated with chloroform during filming to ensure the safety of the actor. Lip readers noted Mayan's visible fear and pleading with the director to complete the scene quickly so he could remove the dangerous animal from his shoulders. Thomas Mayan, a prominent actor from the early 20th century, made a significant impact on the film industry. His performances in silent films like Male and Female and The Miracle Man showcased his talent and influenced storytelling techniques. Industry experts praised his ability to convey emotion without dialogue and his natural on-screen presence. Mayan's work inspired future actors to study his performances and learn from his unique style. This classic actor's contribution to the industry continues to be celebrated by film enthusiasts and historians alike. Thomas Mayan, a well-known actor and brother to Broadway actor James E. Mayan Sr., left a lasting impact on the film industry. His influence extended to his nephew, radio actor James E. Mayan, Jr. in Newport Ritchie, Florida. The Thomas Mayan Theater was named after the actor, opening on July 1, 1926, with the film The New Klondike. Mayan himself attended the theater's first sound film showing on March 9, 1930. Although the building's name has since changed to the Ritchie Suncoast Theater, it remains a symbol of the actor's legacy. The actor played a significant role in the theater, leaving a lasting impact on those who attended. Even today, fans of classic films recognize and appreciate his work in the industry. Thomas Mayan, a successful actor in the early 20th century, had a fulfilling life outside of his professional sphere. He was known for his love of sports, particularly golf and horse racing. Mayan was often seen at golf courses and horse racing tracks during his free time, enjoying the thrill of competition and camaraderie. In addition to his love of sports, Mayan had a strong sense of community and a generous spirit. He was passionate about giving back to those in need and frequently participated in charitable events. Mayan was particularly involved in efforts to support children's hospitals and organizations that helped those struggling with poverty. One of Mayan's most notable philanthropic endeavors was his work with the Actors Fund of America. The organization provides financial assistance and social services to actors and other entertainment professionals in times of need. Mayan was a dedicated supporter of the fund and frequently donated his time and resources to help those in the industry who were struggling. Mayan's personal values and interests often informed his work as an actor. He was known for taking on roles that reflected his love of sports and his commitment to community service. For example, in the 1920 film The Sporting Life, Mayan played a professional baseball player who uses his fame and fortune to help those in need. Mayan's dedication to giving back went beyond his professional life. He was a generous and kind-hearted individual who believed in the importance of helping others. Mayan's philanthropic efforts and commitment to community service continue to inspire those in the entertainment industry and beyond. Thomas Mayan's life took a tragic turn in 1936. After a successful career as a leading man in silent films, he had retired from acting a few years prior due to his struggle with alcoholism. During this time, he became reclusive and isolated himself from the public eye. In October of that year, Mayan's wife, Conger, passed away after a long illness. The loss was devastating for the actor, and he never fully recovered from the grief. Just a few months later, in February 1937, Mayan himself died from a heart attack at the age of 58. The suddenness of Mayan's death was a shock to the film industry and his fans. The actor had been a beloved figure in Hollywood for over two decades, known for his charming personality and impressive acting talent. His tragic end serves as a reminder of the struggles that many classic Hollywood stars faced, both on and off the screen. Reflecting on Thomas Mayan's legacy within the industry, the actor's impact is undeniable. From their early days in silent films to their later success in talkies, Mayan captivated audiences with their talent and charisma. Their performances in classic films like The Miracle Man and The Racket showcase their range and ability to bring characters to life. Looking towards the future, the actor envisions continuing to inspire and entertain audiences. They believe in the power of storytelling and the importance of connecting with people through their craft. Mayan sees themselves taking on new and challenging roles, pushing the boundaries of their abilities and leaving a lasting impression on viewers. For aspiring professionals in the industry, the actor offers this advice on your skills, be dedicated and disciplined, and never stop learning. They emphasize the importance of hard work and perseverance as success rarely comes overnight. Megan encourages aspiring actors to take risks, embrace failure as a learning opportunity, 
and never lose sight of their passion for performing. In conclusion, Thomas Mayen's legacy as an actor is one that will be remembered for generations to come. Their contributions to the industry have left an indelible mark, and their future endeavors promise to be just as captivating. Aspiring professionals can learn from their dedication, talent, and unwavering commitment to their craft. Thomas Mayen was a remarkable actor who left an indelible mark on the film industry. With his charismatic screen presence, he captivated audiences and elevated every production he was a part of. If you're a fan of this classic actor, we'd love to hear your thoughts on his work and legacy. Mayen's career spanned over two decades, and he appeared in some of the most memorable films of the silent era. From his breakout role in The House of Mirth to his iconic performance in The Miracle Man, Mayen's talent and versatility shone through in every film he made. Despite the challenges of working in silent films, Mayen was able to convey complex emotions and ideas through his expressive face and body language. He had a unique ability to connect with audiences and draw them into the story, making him a true master of his craft. Mayen's impact on the film industry is still felt today. He inspired countless actors and filmmakers who followed in his footsteps, and his legacy lives on in the many films he left behind. So, if you have fond memories of watching Thomas Mayen on the big screen, or if you're simply curious about this classic actor's work, we encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. And, if you enjoy our content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping and